Scorpio, hi, I'm doing a love reading now. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Scorpio. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. If you are new, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. Let's see what's happening for you in love and romance. Sun, Moon and Rising Scorpio. This is a three card spread, clarifiers and some oracles. I may do more than just one spread if I feel I need to, if I want to sort of extend on the message. Now let's see what's coming for you. What's happening for Scorpio? Please Spirit, show me what's happening. What's relevant? What message is here relevant? We have love at first sight and I want to date you. Okay, we have a nice progression here. Someone have fallen in love with you. And I love that. I want to date you. I mean, it's such a clear and simple progress and communication. They know what they want to do. Beautiful. I like this way. No sort of let me think about it type of energy. They know what they want to do. They want to get to know you. They want to date you. Or this could be you. Remember these energies, um, you know, could go up by the versa. This, this could be your energy that I'm reading or the person that you are thinking about, that you are here to find some answers, how they feel about you. Oh, they fell in love and they want to get to know you better. Scorpio. Sun, Moon and Rising. Let me see what's happening. Oh, Knight of Swords. That is a lot of... Um, this is communication. That is a fast communication, but it's also, you know, communication. The words may not be chosen very well. It's, it's a little bit like someone says something before they really think about it. Um, but yeah, someone's desperate to talk to you. Someone's desperate to contact you. Okay, these are swords, so it's communication. Thoughts. Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. What's happening for Scorpio? Who's that? In love with Scorpio. Love at first sight. Please show me more. Who's that? What are this person's next steps and actions? What are they going to do? Show me more. What's happening for Scorpio? Love and all. see this one. One more and I'm ready. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Three of swords in the past. I like that. It's done and dusted. Whatever heartache this was. Queen of Cups. And King of Wands. Okay. Strong Sagittarius energy here. Um... I feel this person, um, it's a nice blend, you two. I feel there is something that you are, um, you know, there's a difference between you. But it, it, it creates perfect balance in a sense. This is someone patient. But on the other hand, the King of Wands, you know, King of Wands, it's such a, um, it, this is a very confident energy. This is that energy. This is, this person, you know, um, knows what they want and they're going to tell you this and not only tell you, they are going to do it because this is an action card. This is an action energy. So this is not someone who procrastinates and never happened. They don't do anything. They do not act upon anything. This is a doer. I love that. So that is the sort of major energy here. I wonder what's the three of swords. There's some sort of pain, some sort of disappointment. Um, I like that. It's in the past. I might clarify, may not. I love the Queen of Cups. This person is not only passionate about this connection, 
that they are also connecting with that soft side, with that emotional side, with that one that, you know, the heartbeat recognizes, the, the heartbeat re recognizes all the butterflies in the stomach. So with that mm, very sensual and emotional side. And this is, oh, excuse me, um, you know, Queen of Cups, it's going to the future, it's future energy, meaning I do see this person taking action in terms of expressing these feelings, plain and simple. With the temperance, there may be a little a sort of delay, not so much delay, but I feel the perfect this person is mm, waiting for the right time. And they're patient. And then they're going to do what they want to do and say what they want to say. And not this way around. And that's what they want to say. I want to date you. An exclamation. Um, okay, wow. Strong Sagittarius. Just give me one for that temperance, please. Just one. What's this temperance? Why this? Why this perfect timing? Why is this the world okay? An ending of a cycle. So perhaps this person is dealing still with something. The world is clarifying the temperance. There's clearly a need to close something, a close cycle, you know, and, and um, only then a new cycle can begin. In other words, I feel it's got something to do with this, the pain from the past. So this person perhaps is still processing something. Perhaps this person is um, still, let's say, they have, you know, this person was in a connection, they haven't yet moved out. So there's still some sort of residue of that um, disappointment and heartache related to the past um, that's kind of um, affecting the the present situation meaning there is a, a new and old cycle that are intertwining here they are inter interlapping so i gotta close one door before we open a new one and it's a clear like on my table it's a clear past Closing of one chapter and opening of new one. Very clear messages. This is beautiful, this Queen of Cups. So in other words, yeah. That, you know, action that I'm getting here, or this King of Wands, whatever that is, communication, more, most of the time it is a communication, okay? How else? Um, I want to focus on this Queen of Cups. Please tell me more. It may, in terms of that Queen or King of Wands, it may take a little bit more time. So you're not looking at weeks, you're looking at perhaps a month to three, okay? It's a longer period of time. Queen, Queen of Cups, please show me more. Ace of Pentacles. Something very solid. This Ace of Pentacles, it's such a beautiful and solid energy. Um, very big potential. It's connected to that, you know, love offer that's coming. Um, we have lot, love at first sight. Um, I feel this, I want to date you. It's definitely um, connected to exploring a possibility of long-term connection because of that ace of pentacle this is such a um energy um, of clear beginning of something that can grow let's see scorpio so Sagittarius, strong Sagittarius, could be Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. One for Scorpio, please. Talking. That's nice. Awaited message arrives. Okay. I love to see that. 
um, because there's not much communication here. So I feel you could expect this person communicating in the next, I feel, couple of months. I don't, I don't think it's anytime sooner. There is still something that this person needs to deal with. Close one door, open another. It hurts to be without you. Hmm. No wonder, well, they fell in love. And now, you know, they can't be without with you yet. So it's not easy for them. Just one message about the situation. One message for Scorpio. Close gate. Okay. Fate has closed the gate. No more to return. Okay, I feel this relates to this and that cycle. This person is definitely closing a chapter with a, a person and there's no going back there. No going back. And that is why, you know, you might need to wait for um, some time. I am really saying not weeks, it's longer, it's months before uh, you'll see any development in this situation. The world is a major arcana. That is a major energy. That is a major closure and major um, opening of that new chapter. So it's not on a time frame. It doesn't happen overnight. One for Scorpio, please. Leo. The sun, also Leo's energy. An unexpected comet. This could be Leo that you're dealing with. And the sun is also Leo energy. Expression. Hmm. For me, the sun, and the sun in astrology is This is how we are, this is the self, and but also ego. I don't see anything, anything here, and I don't... The sun in, in terror is this illumination. I mean, someone... Someone here, it's very, very open and very kind of sure what they want. And um, I feel that's what it is. This very... Um, the sun is bright, very um, open and transparent expression of feelings or wants and needs that's why we also have that um, king of wands here this is the same energy this is someone who's um as i said someone who knows what they want this is not a procrastinator this is a doer but there's something about this expression. I mean, it's, it's, I'm surprised there's no King of Swords here. There's that clarity energy. But that's what it is. You know, clarity, um, transparency, and being just completely open. And perhaps it feels this way, unexpected. This is how this person feels. Unexpected um, love. Love at first sight doesn't want to be different. So how do you feel about someone this way? Um, it came from nowhere and now you are 
closing a chapter on one thing and you're just preparing yourself to be able to, you know, communicate with that person, approach that person. Or vice versa, this is what the person that you're asking about is feeling and is dealing with now. Scorpio, that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please smash that like button. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. Leave me a comment. I do read all your comments if this resonates. Happy New Year. All the very best. And I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now, Scorpio.